All right, first and foremost, call Halal Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. That's all praises to the Most High God, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. His war dog, Pagayal Banashar. Extending salutations, greetings, peace, and grace to the elders and to the to the Akim that labor in this truth in sincerity. And I wanted to touch on this video that I came across on World Star Hip Hop to Joe Rogan speaks on people who are racist against white people all right and basically what this video is is the so-called white man acting as if he's he's being victimized because people are speaking truths about him and against him all right so i'm, I'm gonna let the video play and then i'm gonna bring out some scriptures All right, so there's a tirade of complaining about people being racist towards so-called white people. And I'm going to touch on a few of the things that he said. First and foremost, dealing with the fact that he said we people want to be racist because they have a stamp of approval. Obviously complaining about so-called Negroes and Latinos because we are the main ones complaining about the oppression over here in Babylon, the great spiritual Babylon, which we know to be America. All right. And um, obviously he's, he's directing these complaints to the black and Hispanic community, Native American community, because we are the chief people complaining about this devil, this white man, right? So he's, he says we're being racist because we're able and allowed to be racist because we have a stamp of approval, right, from, 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 from people that um, empathize with us and whatnot. But really, the stamp of approval that we got is from the Most High God, all right, the creator of heaven and earth, all right? And we get that stamp of approval from his word, from the scriptures. All right. So lucky. Let me get the... Let's look at the word definition of racist. All right. And it says, A person who shows or feels discrimination or prejudice against a people of other races or who believes that a particular race is superior to another. All right. So we're going to show and prove through the scriptures, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, that the Most High God is racist. Okay? This is Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So the Most High God has it written in his word. That the people that he chose, which are the Israelites. Which through, through um, biblical prophecy, history, and archaeology we can prove and substantiate that those people are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans and Seminole Indians, okay? These people are above all people that are on the face of earth, which is literally the definition of racist. So the Most High God is racist, and that's where we get our stamp of approval to be racist toward you devils, man. 
All right, let's get another one. This is Second Ezra's chapter six. I'm gonna start at fifty-four. And after these also, after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen, the chosen people, the people who are above all other people. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. As for the other people, or you other people that are not chosen, you people that are beneath the children of Israel, which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing. All right, that's and that's what you guys are. That's what you, especially you so-called white people, you are, y'all are nothing, man. Okay, and that's the word of the Most High. But be like unto spittle, and has likened them, likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. And that's that's what you guys are. You're nothing. All right, you spittle, you're a drop out of a bucket. To the Most High God, right? And the next thing I wanted to touch on that this devil that this devil was complaining about was the generalizations. Right, the generalizations that people make of so-called white people, when the Most High God once again generalizes all so-called white people. Okay. This is the Book of Malachi, chapter one. I'm gonna start at verse two. I'll just start at verse one. The burden of the word of the Lord. This is the word of the Lord being spoken to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, saith the Lord. Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord? Yet I loved Jacob, and I hated Esau. And we know through the Spirit that you so-called white people, your biblical nationality is Esau, okay? So the Lord hates you, okay? And laid his mountain and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. This is what the Lord says. They shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, okay? All of you are the border of wickedness. All you so-called white people are the epitome, all right? The, the, the standard, the gold standard of being wicked, man, okay? The border, they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. And it's not, it's not without reason, man, Okay? The Most High doesn't call you the border of wickedness. Doesn't call. Doesn't hate you for no reason. There's a reason. He hates you. Okay. I'm gonna get there. This is Ezekiel. I'm gonna get Ezekiel. Twenty-five. Ezekiel chapter twenty-five. Let's start at verse 12. Thus saith the Lord God. This is the Most High God speaking. Because that Edom, once again, Edom is the biblical nationality of you so-called white people, you so-called Caucasians, so-called Europeans. Okay? Because that Edom hath, said, hath dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and hath greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. All right? This is just dealing with the house of Judah, so the southern kingdom, so-called Negroes, Haitians, and West Indians, okay? Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom and will cut off man and beast from it and will make it desolate from Timon and the day and day of the dawn shall fall by the sword. So this is dealing with two things. This is dealing with the reasoning behind the Most High hating you, okay? And, 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 and us that are, that are in the spirit and the other people that are also in the spirit hating you. Even those that don't that don't particularly know that they're Israelites, just knowing your history and your track record of hating so-called Negroes, this is why. This is why you're hated. This is why people call for your death because of all the death that you've uh, dished out. Okay. Let me get um. Let me get Ezekiel chapter thirty-five. I'm going to start at 1. Ezekiel chapter 35, verse 1. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir. Dealing with, the, with, dealing with you so-called Caucasians. That's the land where you all are from. Mount Seir. And prophesy against it, and say unto it, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, 
and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord. Because thou hast had a again, dealing with the reasoning, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword, in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. So this is why. Because you've been murdering the children of Israel, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. This is why um, um, genocide is called upon you, man. By the, by, the, by the mouth of the Most High through his, his servants, the prophets, man. All right? Therefore, as I live, saith the, saith the Lord God, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate, and cut off from it him that passeth out, and him that returneth. And I will fill his mountains with slain men, in thy hills, and in thy valleys. And in all thy rivers shall they fall that are slain with the sword. And this is what's going to happen to you so-called white people, man. You're all going to be slain. Okay? Let me get the famous book, man. Okay? Every Israelite's favorite book. The book of Obadiah. I'm going to start at verse 1. Or Salak, I'm going to start at verse 9. And the mighty men, O Taman, and the mighty men, O Taman, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the Mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. Once again, this is the word of the Most High, calling for the slaughter and genocide of you so called Edomites. Okay? Don't get mad at me. Take it up with the Lord, man. All right, and once again, the reasoning. Verse 10, For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. Okay? I'm going to jump down to verse 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Most High has spoken. All right? Get a few more scriptures dealing with you, you so called Edomites being wiped out, man. Okay, let me get Exodus chapter 17, verse 14. All right, and the Lord said unto Moses, Write this for a memorial in a book and rehearse it in the ears of Joshua. For I, the Most High, is talking, I will utterly put out the remembrance of Amalek from under the under heaven. And Amalek is one of is the chief tribe, all right, the chief tribe of the so called Edomites, man, the synagogue of Satan, you so called Jewish people, all right. So when he's saying he's gonna cut you off, he's gonna cut the head off. That means the whole nation is gonna get cut off, okay. Let me get another one. Numbers, chapter twenty four, verse twenty. And we, when he looked on Amalek, he took up his parable and said, Amalek was the first of the nations, but his latter end shall be that he perish forever. All right, meaning there's not going to be any of you left to, 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 to regenerate back into the world. You're all going to be slaughtered, man. Okay. And get the last one. The book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 25. Verse 19, therefore it shall be when the Lord thy God hath given thee rest from all thine enemies round about in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee for an inheritance possess it, that thou shalt blot out the remembrance of Amalek under heaven. Thou shalt not forget it. All right, so the Most High is telling us when, when, when we get back, back in our own land, you are going to be slaughtered, man. Not any of you are going to be left and nobody's going to remember you, man. All right. Just a few scriptures, just to, just to combat with this devil, this Edomite man, was talking about. Okay. Complaining about complaining about things that the Most High has ordained, and things that we as so-called Negro Latinos, Latinos, Native Americans, Seminole Indians, have have the right to complain about. Okay, and and to call out against you. For all the murder, the bloodshed, the genocide, okay, the oppression, 
everything that you've done against us. Okay, you so-called white people, you Edomites, all right? And truthfully, the rest, the rest of you heathen as well, okay? But, but chiefly and specifically, you so-called Edomites, Slakia, you Edomites, you so-called white people, so-called Caucasians, so-called Europeans. Chiefly you, okay? And with that, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, and Shalom.